on showers for the second baby? What's the etiquette? Well, let's talk about it. Stay tuned. baby shower and all the etiquette that's involved around that. All right, well, a baby shower, you know, for uh, a couple's first baby, how exciting. And the intent of that is to shower the couple with all the things, especially the bigger things that they are going to need to help raise this baby. Things like a crib and a um, bassinets and strollers and all the different things that they need, uh, all the really bigger things. So they're showered with all these amazing gifts, things that last. So that's the intent of a baby shower. But then that's great. And but now we have a second baby has come and we need to celebrate that second baby also. Right? Yes, but Maybe the couple, they still have all those big items that they were showered with from the first shower. So ideas for a second baby, or maybe even a third or fourth, to still celebrate the birth of this child is to, instead of showering with them with all these big items, how about if we sprinkle them with some smaller items, things that they still need but it's not quite as big, right? And so they call this a sprinkle instead of a shower. You know, and there are other variations of this. You know, some, some choose to wait until the baby is born, the second baby, and then they have sort of a cocktail or mocktail party in small bites. They call it a sip and see. So you come and sip a cocktail or mocktail and see the baby. Okay, it's all great, but there's a little etiquette involved with this. So first of all, would you please be so kind? Hit that subscribe button, join us, and, and keep coming back. We post a new video almost every day. So please keep tuning back in and drop me a comment. What are your thoughts on this? I'd really like to know. All right, so so now we know there's either showers or sprinkles or sip and seas or maybe some other variation that you've creatively thought of. I, drop me a comment. I'd love to read about it. Okay, but what's the etiquette of this? Who, number one, who's going to host all of these different events? And can you have several? Well, yes, the answer is in our case today, the second baby, Yes, you may have several, let's call it sprinkles, baby shower light, if you will. Yeah, maybe people that you work with, your, your colleagues and coworkers say they want to sprinkle you. And then you have a set of friends of your yoga group, they want to sprinkle you and your family wants to sprinkle you. So you can have several sprinkles. Why not? I think that's great. Okay, so, but who's hosting these? Okay, so that we need to determine and strict etiquette the tradition is the family never serves as host for a baby shower okay because it's thought that it could appear as though we're trying to um, get gifts a gift grab or um, it, it just looks in poor taste like we're just out to get gifts and that we need them so bad and so traditionally, the family has not served as host, but in some cases these days that's waned, but some people are still hold strictly to that. So you do you. If you're comfortable with your family hosting it, then you do you. It's, it's, it's a really up to you uh, if you are the parents of this child and the family. Otherwise, what's very common and most probably most common is for very close friends to host the baby shower, the sprinkle, 
Uh, and or maybe the, the sip and see, you know, or the, the parents could even host a sip and see. I mean, I think that is just perfect because people will be coming into your home. So if it's the sip and see, the parents, it's just fine to, to, to do that, to host that. Okay, you might do it in conjunction with some close, very close friends. Okay, so we know about the hosting and the responsibilities would be to make sure you send out a, an invitation and you've decided the invitation list. And the invitation list should be close family and friends and keep it on the smaller side. Again, because the second baby, it's more of a sprinkle, if you will, and that means it's just sort of a toned down version of the shower. The thought is that parents still have all those big accoutrements from the first baby, so they don't need all the, the bassinets and the strollers, all that, that, but what they could use maybe are some diapers and, and wipes, you know, things like that, the smaller things. So keep the group smaller, keep any uh, mention of gifts smaller, so smaller crowd, smaller gifts. So with the invitation, you could say, Maybe you're having some printed or an e-invitation. You know, I've seen some really clever ones where they make little rhymes and say, um, and this, in this case of a sprinkle, I see it's okay to mention gifts. Normally, I'm completely against any mention of gifts on an invitation, but I think this sprinkle is a little bit um, a one-off, if you will, because this is different. And you can, see, I've seen such clever ones with rhymes basically saying you know we have really everything we really need but we could always use some small things like diapers and wipes or or whatever and that makes it very clear or the sip and sees that i've seen or attended they really specifically say on the invitation this is just a celebration to us to celebrate baby what's the baby's name and welcome this baby to the, to the world, your presence is enough, please, no gifts. And then you know, no gifts, this is just to go and see the baby. So take your cue from the invitation, that's the etiquette. If you are the host, that's the etiquette. If you're the guest, follow that. If you have any doubt, if you're a guest, when you RSVP, clarify any questions. Okay, and then I have a tip for you too, for as long as etiquette, when you're attending the sprinkle or a sip and see, the second baby shower, then please don't forget about the first baby or the other children. Yes, you know, I mean, they're still there and it's great that the baby's getting all the attention and, and some little gifts, you know, but how about the other children? So please be, thoughtful and take a small remembrance for the other child or children, maybe a little book or just something small that says, yes, I thought about you and I care about you as well because you love all the children, right? I know, I know. It's going to be great. I think, I think this is just a great way to celebrate. We've covered all the etiquette points and go enjoy the sprinkle, enjoy the sip and see, or they just do a whole shower, enjoy that. Please drop me a comment. Let me know how it all goes. Love to read. Thanks again for subscribing and, and liking this video. And as I always say, please be kind. Thank you.